I mean, this was like May or June-ish, and I had already had issues with his girlfriend. We were separated and battling for custody pretty much. Neither one of us went to the courts or anything, so it was just messy. And I knew that when he was letting her watch our kid, something wasn't right, okay? The baby was flinching around her. I found out that she was hitting him, and that's when things just hit the fan. You know, he himself didn't hurt your child, but the fact that he left your baby with that woman and she hit him and all that, that's child endangerment in and of itself. As a father, I want to be able to forgive myself. I've always wanted children, and I can't imagine putting my hypothetical children in that situation. How do you find it in you to forgive a man who... Never mind. I... I'm in no place to judge you. No, it's okay. Um, I guess... I know Joey's heart, and I know he would never put our baby in danger intentionally. So he claims he didn't know that it was going on, and um, I just think he's stupid sometimes, and I guess I'm stupid sometimes for putting up with him. Well, when Shay was alive, she may have not been the best partner, and I may have been blinded in my relationship, but I know that if her baby had been born, she would have been a good mom, like you. Have you seen your grandma since her passing? No. I've had a few relatives watching her because I know just one look at my grandma and uh, I'm just gonna get too emotional. Have I? Have I helped you at all? You've taken my mind off of everything and I, I want you to stay. I don't want you to go. I want you here with me. But I know I have to work through my grief on my own. I can't rely on you to get me through this. That's not fair to you either. Yeah. Um... I don't know what to do. About what? About... my husband? You still love that asshole? I do. There's your answer. When you stop loving him, then you'll have another answer. 